Okay, I'm here on Till's flooded hay. You can see it's bone dry, bone dry, bone dry, bone dry, all the way the end. Never a drop of water got over here. And the reason for that, if you look to the right side of the fence post where my ATV is, there's a ditch. And this ditch, the ATV is sitting is also dry. See right here. Bone dry, no water's been coming down it. And then we have a hump to the right of the ATV, the right of the brush pile. Bone dry ground, bone dry ground. Here's Tim's Road. Here's where the water went. And it did wash out his road bad. There's no denying that. But 50 feet from the fence, 75 feet from the hay piles, all the way around. So that's an exaggeration on Teal's part. Yeah, you can see the water went all the way down to Tim's gate down there. Now then, Teal City came up here with his tractor to Tim's number one gate right here. You can see it's wet, no denying. Water ran over this a little bit. There's a big pile of leaves down below. Here's tractor tracks right here. This is all the garbage that Teal pulled out of the ditch one scoop so what he did he just came down here and busted the pile loose went right through went all the way down to the property line that's why there's 200 foot maybe 225 or 30 feet of weeds piled up at the property line he just came here and busted it loose he did this on Friday evening I was at the ranch Tim was at the ranch he didn't call till 10 o'clock this morning Anyhow, that's that. Anyhow, the water's turned off up at number one or at the head gate. And it's still just dribbling down through here. Here's another angle. Here's the ditch right here. You can see the water in it. You can see where the water got right there into the Johnson grass. Didn't get up over the berm. You look out there at Teal's hay. It's dry over here on the west side as well. There's dry dirt to the right, you can see it. Dry dirt all along the fence. Anyhow, just documenting, as we discussed earlier, since you're out of town, there's no way that any of Teal's hay got wet. Okay, here's the start of the clog. This is eight T post plus the stretcher down there, which is another eight feet down to the property line. You see, it's just piled up way higher in the ditch. You know, my recollection, these t posts are 20 feet apart, so that's 160 feet. Eight feet up there at the stretcher. So call it, call it 180 feet. Okay, here we are at the property line. Here we are looking back to the south. You can see those weeds piled in there just as far as you can see down that way. Which, from the other video, you'll see was a T-post. You can see them there. Past that little short gray one with the red on top, the next two T-posts past that's where it ends. Anyhow, hopefully this is all you need.